Hi guys, so we just arrived here at our hotel. It's Argentina style view. The reason why we chose this hotel is because as per our research, um, malapit siya sa mga famous attractions here in Rome. Ang masaya pa is Filipina yung receptionist. So, she told us some tips and yung mga directions and yun nga within walking distance lang talaga yung most of the tourist attractions that we really wanna see. Maganda naman yung hotel, yung room, malaki, spacious enough for three, and the view is really good. So, mag quick freshen up lang before we head out again to start exploring um, Rome. And we only have a few hours because at 5pm we have our evening food walking tour. <music> We did the 10 tastings of Rome with a company with locals, wherein you'll get to choose a local as your tour guide. We had Massimo, a storyteller and a foodie, which is 100% accurate. My name is Massimo, first of all. It is a very Roman name. Yeah. 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 Uh, living into the Vatican just decided to rebuild the city. And he called in Rome a lot of very, very important artists from Milan, from Venice, from Florence, Michelangelo and uh, Leonardo and many others, they went in Rome to rebuild the city. This historical moment is called the Renaissance, Rinascimento, the second world, the new world. Mm -hmm. And this building is the perfect representation of what the Renaissance is. So you can recognize the Renaissance because buildings are very clean, super beautiful, really, really, really inspired by the Roman art. Our first food stop was at Forno, located in Campo de Fiori. We tried their classic pizza rosa, a delicious classic Roman pizza that has ultra thin crust topped with tomato sauce. Our next stop was at a restaurant where we sampled the Italian's version of our Filipino lechon, the porchetta. So, buon appetito is a giant meal, but it is considered not elegant to say at the starting of the at the starting of the. So, what should you say? Nothing. 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 Naples is the city of pizza and of coffee, and in Venice you will taste a lovely fish because it is an harbor. And in Milan is famous for the result of the rice. Then we went to Mami, a street food joint that turned out to be our favorite stop of all because of their tasty pizza and deep fried veggies. Classic pizza that you will find only in Rome. That is the pizza with potatoes. Oh. Okay, so it is carbs on carbs on yeah. carbs. <laughs> Several more stops throughout the tour were in we tasted more Italian goodness ranging from sweets to coffee to last but definitely not the least. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're coming to Rome especially for the first time and want to know where the best foodie place is at, then we highly recommend doing this tour and booking Massimo as your guide. In between walking around and chowing down food, he told us bits of Roman history so it was the perfect introduction to our fun Italian trip. After the tour, we decided to walk around a bit to check out Piazza Espana before heading back to Mami, where we ended our night over good food and drinks. Buongiorno, buongiorno. It's another day, it's our day two, and we're heading to Trevi Fountain for sunrise. So, let's go! On our way to the Trevi Fountain, we're gonna try to beat the crowds by going there before sunrise. But I think um, we will, because we're a little late. But at least um, we tried. After visiting Fontana di Trevi and taking just too many pictures, we headed back to our hotel to have a quick breakfast until it was time to hit our next country. I mean, the smallest independent nation state in the world, Vatican City. We are now at the St. Peter's Square. We're searching for the Vatican Museum. We have a skip the line access at 11 a.m. <laughs> It's included in the Roma Tourist Pass. We were starving after gazing at many beautiful artworks, so we decided to try something familiar and hit super close to home. First up, Jolly Hot. What you get? Jolly Spaghetti. I'm having a double burger steak. Yeah, let's see. Mm. 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 
Tom Burger. With our stomachs full, we walk back to visit the most magnificent church we have ever seen, St. Peter's Basilica. Kala namin, char-char lang, mabilisan lang, pero pagpasok, bongga. Bonggang picture. <laughs> yung mga estudyante ang pinunta lang ay mag-picture. Nag-enjoy naman kami sa Vatican. You should visit Vatican when in Rome. Though it's not part of Rome, technically, because it is an independent nation. But when in Italy, when in Rome, visit the Vatican City. Here's the whole St. Peter's Square. I think they're starting to put a Christmas tree. It feels so surreal to be here. So far, so good. Day two, so good. One
wandered around the Palatine Hill and Roman Forum until it was time to bid goodbye to Rome and be on our way to our next stop. Oh my gosh. Are you not entertained? 